we earlier noted that uh, shareholders are entitled for dividends now if you look at dividends they are classified into three types one cash dividends second property dividends and the third one is the stock dividend so what are the differences between these three kinds of dividends so if you look at uh, cash dividends these are actually paid in cash this is number one second these are actually paid out of the retained earnings so the earnings which flow from the net income this cash dividend is actually paid from that what about the property dividend property dividend is a, a dividend which are actually paid in the form of some kind of assets and uh, instead of paying hard cash you are actually paying some assets and these assets could be something like marketable securities so instead of cash you are giving some marketable securities to your owners again this is very important third is the stock dividend a stock dividend would mean that you are not giving cash neither you are looking at any uh, asset to be given uh, instead you are looking at giving them stocks or shares of the firm so say for example one share as dividend for every one share owned by the own investor so this can be called as a stock dividend please note that this doesn't change any ownership pattern so ownership remains the same because if this is one is to one kind of stock dividend all owners will get one additional share in the proportion of their ownerships so this doesn't change the ownership as such one important thing to kind of look at when we are talking about dividends is that dividends are not paid on the treasury stocks if you have bought back as a company treasury shares dividends are not paid on those so let's now look at uh, cash dividends and property dividends and stock dividends in a bit more detail from the point of view of three things one when the company has declared the dividend so date of declaration what happens on the books when each of these three classification of dividends are taken into consideration uh, on the balance sheet number 2 is the date of record the date on which you actually record the number of shareholders who would receive dividends and number 3 is the date of payment we will see uh, these three cases in all three classifications of dividends